Yo, what up people, Leo here from Creative Tech Lab. Today we're talking about hard drive space being filled up because of Final Cut Pro. Welcome to the first Three Minute Thursday. That is right, I'm starting a new series called Three Minute Thursdays. Welcome to Creative Tech Lab. If this is your first time here, my name is Leo. YouTube channel to accompany our website, creativetechlab.com, where we do talk about all things creative. If it's your first time here, all it is that I ask is that you stick around, watch the video, and then if you like what you see, drop the video a like and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. So before we get into exactly what we need to get into, let's just address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am starting a new series. This is the first edition of Three Minute Thursdays. And if you're familiar with that guy from Toronto, Canada, who's one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform and you're thinking, didn't he do a thing with some time on a day? Yes, you're 100% correct. I am doing something like that guy from Canada. Side note, I call that guy that guy because I don't want anybody to think that I'm using his name to try and blow up my channel until it is that I actually meet him in person. He will be known as that guy. Anyway, yes, we're doing a time thing and just to address the whole thing, if you think that I'm copying, not really. He's not the first person to do time things on a day. I mean, this is go all the way back to 60 minutes. And, and more importantly, one of the things that I have taken from the whole Kobe Bryant tragedy is sometimes you have to have the audacity to do things just as great as some of the greatest people in the thing that it is that you're doing. And what I mean by that, if Kobe Bryant said, hey, I'm not gonna dribble the ball like this, or fade away like this, or craft my moves like this because Michael Jordan already did it, would have never had one of the greatest players of all time. So that's my mindset. And if you don't like it, you can feel free to go watch something else. Anyway, that's not why we're here. I'll ramble on, you can skip ahead to what it is we need to talk to. So let's get to the problem at hand. So if you are like me, what it is that I was looking for a new laptop and I was like, I'm gonna get Final Cut Pro, what size hard drive should I get? And you're like, I should get the biggest one, the biggest one, right? Solve the problem, just get the biggest hard drive. But then you start to realize that SSD memory is not cheap, not cheap at all. So you go in and you're like, huh, maybe I get 125, 250 gigs, and then you look at your current computer, at least I looked at my com current computer and I was like, everything that I had, my entire digital life that needed to fit on a hard drive fit in 250 gigs worth of space. I said, hey, I'm going to be editing video files. Video files are a little bit bigger, but if my entire digital life at the time fit into 250 gigs, let's just double that and get half a gig. That was not enough. Let's jump into the software. Typically, if I jumped into the software, I would actually do a screenshot. But in order to recreate this, I have to make sure that the I can't recreate this with a screenshot because the hard drive space is already full up. So I'm going to be shooting on the RX100 here just to show you guys how to do this, how to fix this, and what it is that you need to do. So, all right, so three minutes on the clock starting right now. So you are working around in Final Cut Pro and you get this message right here. It says, the storage device Macintosh HD is almost full. Storage, uh, free up some storage space and click continue or cancel background cast. And you are like, what in the world of, because you are like, I bought double the disk space that I thought I need. I thought I had enough headroom to edit as much things as I did. So you start freaking out. And if you're like me, what I did was I immediately went so about this Mac, I went to check out my storage and it's like, whoa, the documents file is so freaking full. Why is it full? So you go into manage and you're trying to look into the documents file. Typically you won't find this, but then you'll see that your movies file is super huge. And then this right here that says Untitled for me, I don't know what you named your Final Cut library, but Untitled is the cause of the problem. You're like, why is this thing so big? Here is the problem as we go through and we have still to have time on the clock. So when it is that you get into Final Cut Pro, you're gonna wanna go select your, if I zoom in here just a little bit, just so I could do this, you're gonna select your 
um, library. And then over on the right side of the screen, let me just go over there. Right here, you got, this is all the information about your library right here. And you're gonna see that the cache, this is the total amount of space that is taken up in the library. But you see that the cache, which is render files, um, analysis, all that stuff. Let me just zoom into that right there. It's taking a little bit more time. We only have so much time on the clock, we gotta hurry. That right here is saying 94 gigabytes. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come back up. Let me screen out there, go back there. Come up here, go to file. And when you scroll down to right here, you are going to select delete generated library files and that is going to clear up your space and fix the problems that you have and you will see it might have to think there a little bit time 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 it thinks there for a second and then you see that change from 94 to 44 which saved which frees up almost 50 gigs on the hard hard drive there and that's how you clear your hard drive and that's pretty much my three minutes. So the reason that actually happens is Final Cut has what is called background render. So as it is that you're editing, the software actually immediately starts rendering stuff there. And if you want, you could turn that on and off. But the reason from my understanding is that Final Cut does that. So when it is that you're actually finished and ready to export, upload to YouTube or whatever, a lot of the background rendering or effects and stuff that you're doing are rendered in real time and also helps sometimes with playback because like if you just give it a little time to just render out the effects that you put on there, kind of like you've seen in my timeline with adjustment layers or anything like that, then once it actually is rendered out, it just plays back a lot easier. So a lot of times, sometimes if I just add something, I'll give it a few seconds just to let the GPU and the CPU just render whatever it is and then I know I can play it back and check it and do all that there. But that's it, that's it for our first three minute Thursdays. If this video helped you out in any way, shape or form, please go ahead and drop it a like. Share it with somebody who you think might have a similar problem. If you like this video, then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. We talk a lot about run and gun videography here on the channel, along with a whole bunch of other things to come. So join our little small community. Shout out to the 1200 people that have joined so far. And I will catch you in the next one. And yes, there'll be another one of these next week, Thursday, on another topic, whoever it is. And I'll try and be better about keeping the time. The videos themselves will never be three minutes, but I'll try and make sure that I keep within the three minute profile of what it is. So tell me if you like this video. If you didn't like this video, then let me know down in the comments why it is that you didn't. Please try and keep that constructive or deuces. Anyway. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.